In this video, we're going to look at how to open a link in a new tab. So say I have uh, a link to another page. I want to open that in a new tab or a link to a uh, another website on my bubble. I want to open that in a new tab. So I'm just going to go grab this. This is a page I had been working on for a show hide video I did. I'm just going to add it to this. So I'm just going to create a blank space at the bottom here. And we'll work inside of this small area down here. This is going to be a short video. So we'll just type in, click on this link to open in a new tab. And what I did was I just grabbed link from the visual elements. I gave it text and link destination. It could be an internal page, and I can designate the internal page, or I can do an external URL. If I do an external URL, see how it changes a few different things. It will change the URL destination, but I can also do this checkbox here, which gives me the ability to open a new tab. So if I do internal page, and I wanted to go to like this email validator page I built, I would click on this. It would open the email validator in a new tab. I'm going to do an external URL just to show you how that works too. Let's go to Google. There we go. And we'll take a look at how this looks. Now, also interesting is you can use this to do a couple of other things. So this goes to Google, but say I wanted to send this to a document. So Amazon Web Services has URLs for documents, basically. So I could technically send this to documents. Just a second here, and I'll make sure I have a document in the system. Checked. I don't have a document in the system right now, so I will get a file uploader real quick. Well, let's do the picture uploader. Do the picture uploader here. The upload button, and it will do. Oops. Nope. I don't want to do that for. It'll be to put a picture out here, isn't it? We want to be able to upload. Users upload this file, and then we want to uh, save it. So we'll do a quick save for this. Button. And then we'll do data things, create a new thing. The new thing will just be a file for button field file file equals file uploader A's value. Perfect. And we'll reset all the inputs just so I know it's fully completed. Perfect. Uh, this one is going to have an external destination of, I want to do a search for file for button. I guess I don't really have any parameters for it. First item, file. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing a search for all my files for the button, and I'm just grabbing that first item, but I could use any kind of parameters I wanted, all right? And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to go back to this page, reload it, and I'm going to take a look. Pictures, graphic, go. Save file, go. On this tab, boom. So you can use it for a few different things. So say I have a uh, PDF that I want someone to be able to go on my site, click on, have it open in a new tab, and they can fill it out and download it and even resubmit that to me. Um, that's a simple thing to be able to do just by utilizing that. So now uh, get, get creative with what you're doing with these things and think about things that are links not just links to your site, not just links to 
um, other websites because technically this image is a link. So good things to think about, good things to know. That is how to create a link that opens up in a new tab. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more. I'm going to continue to make bubble videos as long as people are you know, watching them, liking them, subscribing to the channel. Um, we're over 600 people following the channel now. I'd like to see it over a thousand. That'd be really cool. Um, that'd be that'd be awesome. So if you could help me get there, that'd be much appreciated. And uh, take a look for other stuff on there. If there's stuff you'd like to see, let me know. Um, I've been looking into a lot of regex stuff lately um, and uh, did some stuff with email extractors. So if there's anything with that you want to learn, let me know too. And if I can build some stuff that I can show, I'll do that. But uh, thank you. And you have a great day.